Now earlier we were talking about cell references and we saw that there were two different types of cell references, relative and absolute. And the way that I was describing it back in that lecture is when we were copying and pasting the formulas. And based on which type of reference you use, the formula would either do the exact same thing over and over again just based on relative position or it would have an absolute cell reference that it would always use. Now, I wanna take this idea of copying formulas to another level, but this still involves relative and absolute referencing, so keep that in the back of your head as we see this new feature. This feature is called autofill. Take a look. This is gonna streamline your efforts in building your calculations. So once again, I'm gonna delete out the sums that I've done. I'll get rid of the row total here, just delete. And I'm gonna get rid of this column total here. Delete, all that hard work, right? All right, I'm gonna show you a really quick way to do this though. So I'm inside of cell B10. I wanna sum up January. We, we know how to do this. Type it in, use the auto sum, use your formula bar, create a sum function to do this. So for me, I'm gonna do it a quick way. I'll do formulas, auto sum, grab the correct range of cells, hit my enter key, and I'm done. Now, I wanna perform the same thing for February and March, right? Well, earlier we saw you can copy and paste. Here's the autofill feature. I'm gonna go back to the 1700, cell B10. In the lower right corner of that cell, I got a little box, little, little box. And if I hover my mouse over that little box, I get a little plus sign. That's the autofill feature. I'm gonna left click, hold down my left click button and drag over to March, two columns to the right. Let go, and I've now copied the formula over to those next two columns. This is the autofill. It's essentially just copy and paste, but now let's just click and drag. Let's try this again. I'll come up here to E5. I'm gonna sum that up, just formulas, auto sum. Okay, yeah, I grabbed the correct range of cells, I'll hit my enter key. Now I wanna do it for the rest of the bills. Well, I'll go back to 3600, grab that little box in the corner, make sure you get that little plus sign, left click and drag all the way down to E10, let go. And I've now copied or autofilled that column with the formulas. Really simple. Create one formula, then just drag it. And it's gonna perform the same operation, like copy and paste, but now just click and drag to copy your formulas using the autofill. So try this out. Create the one formula, click and drag it. Create the formula up above, click and drag. Make sure you're right on that little box. It's kind of small, so just make sure you're right on top of there. Get that little black plus sign and drag it. Try it out. 